phone and camera stand are, okay? This is gonna be five beginner tricks and not just any beginners. These are literally the easiest tricks I know. So I hope this helps you out. If it does, please like the video, comment, tell me what you'd like to see next. If you enjoyed the video, any other trick tutorials. So uh, all that good stuff. First trick out of the group is gonna be the foot plant. This was one of the earlier tricks I learned and it is extremely easy. It can be taken to a bunch of new tricks. You can combine it. One foot off the deck, you can hold it up in the air. Get ready, jump right back down and ride away. One thing you wanna remember when trying this, you're gonna jump slightly before. And I'm assuming all these tricks, I'm assuming you know how to jump bunny hop or j-hop. They're very similar, but it'll help with all of these tricks. So that is a necessary learn. One thing you wanna remember when learning the foot plant is to jump right before you take your foot off. So I'm gonna jump, take my foot off and land with my foot. And then jump and put your foot back on. So the next trick is actually gonna be a variation of the tail whip combined with the last trick we learned, which was the foot plant. So this is trick number two. This is the foot plant tail whip. Very similar to the foot plant, you're taking your front foot off, except this time you're actually going to cross it over to the opposite side, flick the deck with the back leg, catch it, and jump back on. It seems tricky at first, but once you get this, not only is it a really cool trick to do off curbs and ledges, but it's also an extremely easy trick to help you transition to a tail whip. So here's the trick in full speed. Step down, flick the deck, jump and catch. All right, trick number three is the magnet. This is a trick that I actually learned pretty early when I was riding my Razor scooter. You won't see too many riders actually do this trick. It's not really that common, but that doesn't mean it's not fun. I actually love this trick. It was one of the first I learned. The best part is it really helps you get comfortable with jumping and balance in general on your scooter. So it's a great beginner trick to learn when you're first starting out, especially after you learn the bunny hop. There are two very simple steps for the magnet. You're just gonna jump, pull your feet off the scooter, and then right when you get to the height of your jump, you're gonna pull the deck up to your feet until they touch and then land. One thing you really wanna focus on with this trick is getting height and making sure to pull up the scooter with the bars. This may be a little difficult to understand, but once you start learning it with bunny hops, it's really the same thing, except you're just doing it at a later time. Number four on the list isn't exactly a trick necessarily, but it's something that I've learned that really has helped me later and it's more so just getting better at balance. It is the nose and tail pivot. These are actually harder tricks to learn, but I'm gonna make them a little easier. What I'm gonna be showing how to do is just a miniature version, which is what I learned how to do originally, and it later built up the skill and the balance to help me learn full nose and tail pivots later. So I think this is helpful, and it's another one that's actually really fun to do. So what you basically wanna do is pick a line on the ground like this one, and you're gonna to wanna to focus on moving the front wheel over the line and then pulling the back wheel over it. And then you can go back and forth like this in the similar pattern, and you can do different things with it. You will slowly learn how to go farther and farther over the line, or you can cross over faster and faster. Whatever you like, it's at your own pace. I really think this is worth it to put in the video because it'll help you learn the tricks later on. This final trick is the X-Ride very similar to the X up, but it's actually a variation that I don't see that much. Let's get to it. For the X ride, you're gonna go in a straight line and then cross one hand over the other like this and twist them. You'll have to do this while jumping, otherwise you will fall over your bars. Trust me, I've done it. It is not fun. One tip for this trick, if you can't get it as easy the first time, depending on which way you do it, you can twist one of your hands to a backhand position and flip it that way. That makes it a little easier and it's less awkward on your hands. So that wraps up our video on the five easiest beginner scooter tricks. These are a couple tricks that I learned very early and they actually have helped me a lot later on learning some other tricks and combinations. Hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please give it a like. Maybe these tricks were too easy for you, but if they were, then why did you click on the video? 
Uh, <laughs> but either way, uh, please tell me what you think in the comments. And if you'd like to see anything else, more trick tutorials, I could also do scooter build videos. I could do a dial tutorial, anything. Leave it in the comments, I'll do it. I really enjoyed making this video, so I hope you enjoyed watching it. Thanks for checking in. See you later. Take care.